How's it hanging, everyone? Welcome to the first Kaneverse recap. This is stage one of the Kaneverse. Stage one is only three seasons of Kaneverse of the Kanans and the first Super Spy movie. Let's start with Kaneverse of the Kanans. Kanan, a genius inventor, is sad because he doesn't have any friends. So, he reaches out to another universe and finds other Kanans just like him. Then, puts together a group of Kanans so he can have friends. But, they turn on him and he has to defeat them. He gets help from very different Kanan to help defeat the final extreme fighting Kanan. Moving on to season 2. In this season, it shows what happened to Dumb Kanan. Dumb Kanan fell into a portal and ended up in Great Outdoors Kanan's universe. Outdoors Kanan said he'll help Dumb Kanan get revenge on Kanan Classic. So, they decide to go after Kanan. After a long chasing happens, Kanan Classic meets up with multiple other Kanans that he hasn't seen before, such as Creepy Kanan, Old Kanan, News Kanan, and Basketball Kanan. Then, Outdoors Kanan backstabs Dumb Kanan by shooting him in the back. But, Dumb Kanan ends up saving the day by turning to the good side and hitting Outdoors Kanan in the head with the basketball. But, as shown in the end credit scene, he's not dead, and he's about to call a Kanan army. And this is where we start our Season 3. Season 3 starts with Great Outdoors Kanan recruiting all the Kanans that Kanan Classic has defeated. But, after spying from a new Kanan called Super Spy, Kanan Classic learns their plan. So, he, Creepy Kanan, and News Kanan all set up a bunch of traps in his house so they wouldn't be able to get them. Three of these traps worked, but Magic Kanan was able to phase through the wall, and now Kanan Classic is held hostage. But, Super Spy learned about it in time and fought his way over to save Kanan. Then, they escape using playing card grenades, but Commander Kanan is coming after them. But then, Super Spy pulls out a gun and shoots Commander Kanan in the head. In the end credit scene, Dumb Kanan discovers that Kanan Classic destroyed all the portal remotes that he knows of, and he is now the new guardian of the portal. This concludes the Kanan vs. the Kanan saga. Now moving on to Super Spy, Too Many Ways to Die. It starts off with Super Spy storming an enemy base to steal the Lucky Pencil, which his enemies have been using to defeat all of his bases. But, after accidentally running over the pencil with his scooter, he discovers it's a fake but written on the pencil was where it was manufactured. So, Super Spy sets off to find that place. But before he goes, Kanan Classic shows him a new type of gun that shoots explosive nerf bullets. Then he sets off, but the enemy predicts his move and traps him with their new tripod cannon gun. While Super Spy is in custody, he discovers that the villain fighting their bases was Great Outdoors Cannon all along. Great Outdoor Kanan then describes that after he got hit with a pillow, they forgot to check for his portal remote, so he was able to escape. Which then after upon meeting Creepy Kanan, he found the pencil and has been after Super Spy ever since. But, while Outdoors Kanan is explaining, Super Spy is able to escape. And after a long chase, Great Outdoors Kanan finally sees the tripod cannon and gets a good idea. While Super Spy is running, he zaps him with it and Super Spy falls out of a window. Then, when all seems lost, Super Spy suddenly comes back to life and suits Great Outdoor Cannon's Tripod Cannon, which was an overdose of electricity which electrocutes him to death, but Super Spy is hurt very badly. Then he sees the keys to where the lucky pencil is being held. He then struggles back to the base and locks the key inside the safe where the lucky pencil was held so that no one could use it again. But Cannon Classic was able to find Super Spy on the brink of death and nurses him back to health. And that concludes the Super Spy, Too Many Ways to Die. That's it for Stage 1 of the Kaneverse. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos.